All right, today we have a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta 2 liter. And the customer complaint is an ABS light. Let me take you to the scan tool. So we have an ABS wheel speed sensor, front left, G47 electrical problem in circuit, intermittent. So what I'm gonna do is bring up some data pads and go around and spin all the wheels and see if there's a signal. All right, sorry about the glare. It's the best I can do right now. I'm just gonna go around and spin all the wheels. Right now I'm going to do left front, spinning the wheel. We do have a signal there. Spinning the right front. Right rear and the left rear. So it looks like we do have a signal in that left front. All right, so you seen when I did my wheel spin test, I guess you could call it that. Um, you can see I did have a signal on the left front and I need to, needed to do a different approach. So right now, I just have the car, it's in first gear and both of these front wheels are spinning at about the same rate. Here's my data. So the rear wheels aren't spinning. Front wheels are. See that left front wheel speed sensor's dropping out. Average speed on the right front. About three miles per hour, steady flat line. Left front, zero. See some little, uh, little bit of signal in there. And it's intermittently changing. Both of the rear wheels are at zero because the rear wheels are not spinning. It's a front wheel drive car. So what we're going to do is investigate further at this left front speed sensor. So I'm just under my guided component tests for the ABS wheel speed sensors. Wheel speed sensors generate AC voltage signal which increases with wheel speed. ABS to the ECM, ABS and ECM use the signal to determine wheel speed. They are two pin sensors, pin one and pin two, both a wheel speed sensor signal. This is a VRS type signal, generates its own voltage. A little bit of info on the sensor there. So what I'm gonna do to look at this wheel speed sensor signal is put in this little basically it's kind of like a pigtail harness and it has all sorts of different two pin connectors and I just need to find the right one for my wheel speed sensor and then it has two leads so that I can hook up my test leads on my scope and look at a signal. So that's what we're gonna do. So here's a look at our wheel speed sensor. I have my harness installed and this is where I'm going to hook my leads up at to get a signal off of this wheel speed sensor. So I'm just hooked up to the wheel speed sensor and that's a good looking signal right there. I don't really, I don't see any dropouts. So uh, this for me right now is possibly a wiring issue. So uh, we're just going to maybe do some visual inspections up at the harness. And if I don't see anything there, the next step would be to go to the ABS module and check for a signal up there and compare the two. So that's what I'm going to do. It's never a bad idea to do a visual inspection. And it looks like somebody was in here messing with some wires. 
that's just a little bit further up on the side of the strut. Here's where we're doing our testing at the wheel speed sensor. Here's where I noticed a little bit of an issue. So I'm just back probed. Just want to see what this the signal looks like up at these uh, butt connectors that somebody put in here. To, this wiring has been repaired before. And I just want to see what the module's seeing as to what type of signal. So that's where I'm connected. Uh, let me take you to the scope. So I am connected and I'm just gonna wiggle these wires around a bit. I'm just wiggling this harness right here and there's that there's our wheel speed sensor signal. So this is definitely a confirmed issue right here. So I'm going to repair this wiring and then we will go back and look at the scan data and see what our wheel speed sensor signal looks like or what our data parameter looks like on the scan tool. So I repaired the wiring and these are our wheel speed sensor signals now, both reading. There's our left front, we had drop outs before, 3 miles per hour, right front 3 miles per hour, call this a fix, wiring repair, and to prove to you that the VRS style sensors create their own voltage, I'm going to connect to this one with just my little harness and my scope. And I'm going to leave the ABS harness that plugs into the sensor unplugged. Uh, I should have did it on the Ford one just to prove it. Uh, I'm going to do it on this one for you. Alright, so this wheel speed sensor, it's a VRS style. It creates its own voltage. So what I've done is I am literally just back probed or hooked up to the sensor itself. And the main wiring harness to the ABS module is unplugged. And you can see, I do have a signal. That right there tells me that this wheel speed sensor is good. The tone wheel is okay.